These are three food robots. So creepy. It's like your delivery, and then when it leaves, it's like, have a nice day. All right, so I'm dealing with like a three, four day growth here. And I'm also dealing with lack of sleep. It's about five o'clock in the morning and I'm cranky. But a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a Shave Wars because you just love the Shave Wars and I, I love them too. But you've been asking me to do a Shave Wars between the Gillette Mach 3 and the Gillette Mach 3 Turbo. You guys want to know what the difference is. Now, I went on the Gillette site, and there's just not any information listed about the turbo, guys. They're talking about a $200 heated razor. They don't want to talk about the turbo. They barely want to talk about the Mach 3. But us old dudes, we remember when the Mach 3 came out. The first blade that lifts the hair and the two following blades that cut it. This was like groundbreaking technology. Three blades. And I think Gillette probably should have stopped right there. But the turbo, the turbo provides, from what I gather from community boards and just reading other internet passages, but not from Gillette lately, the turbo adds sharper and stronger turbo blades and an anti-friction coating. So a little bit of a smoother feel and a little bit longer performance is the marketing spin. But what we're gonna do in the Shave Wars today, we're gonna knock off this stubble. I'm gonna give you my take. We're gonna unbox them. I'll show you the subtle differences. We'll get into the shave. And then I'm gonna do a 15 day shave off between these two. This side of the face, turbo, and this side of my lovely face will be Mach 3. 15 days, because the one piece of information that I did find on the Gillette site said that the Mach 3 razors are designed to give you a comfortable 15 shaves. They're more durable than traditional steel, so you're gonna get 15 shaves out of this. All right, turbo and regular Mach 3. Now, the noticeable difference really with the two is the color scheme, right? This has more of a light gray. If you can see that, it's probably reading as white on this. A um, little bit more heft to this guy if I'm, yeah, a little bit more heft. If we pull off these little caps, this will be a probably more noticeable. So this lubrication strip up here is much wider than the one on your traditional Mach 3. The microfin area looks a little bit denser and wider or thicker. And then you, what you can't see to the, to the naked eye is the fact that these turbo blades are supposed to have an anti-friction coating, which makes them so slightly thicker, which may affect the shave. But other than that, guys, it looked pretty identical, feel somewhat identical. Uh, this has a shinier coat on the metal, and this has more of a brushed feel or, and look on the metal. Other than that, turbo, regular. We'll see if it makes any difference, guys. That's why I'm here. I'm here at 5 o'clock in the morning for you. I'm going to use Gillette Foam Mouse. For my lather, I'm going to go with the traditional one-pass shave for the next 15 days. All right, so here we go. Mach 3, first and only pass. Just a nice, it's a nice shave, guys. Nice shave. Lots of contact, lots of control, thin head. Very nice. It works well with and against this stubble. And we've all been there. We've had those grabby razors. Once you don't shave for two or three days,
It can be painful. But not with the Mach 3, guys. Again, when this was introduced in the late 80s, I believe, it was a wow. And it's still a wow. If you haven't tried a Mach 3, if you're a young buck, link below. Get yourself a Mach 3. Look at the thinness of that blade, guys. So it allows you really the opportunity to get into the nooks and crannies. It allows you to, yeah, I'm doing marketing for Gillette. All right, here we go. First side of the shave, first side of my face in the books. That was nice, easy, and smooth. Very nice. Love it. Perfect. Let's switch over to the Mach 3 with Turbo. Again, Turbo Sharp blade, so sharper. Anti-friction coating, larger lube strip up here and more dense micro fin or rubber guide in the bottom, at the bottom. Mach 3, turbo, here we go. We'll wet that up for a shave. Oh yeah, nice. You know, I can actually feel the difference between the denseness or the thickness of that rubber guide. And from what I was reading, that helps if you have more sensitive skin, guys. If you have the propensity to get ingrown hairs, the turbo might be the way for you. Just because it does have a little bit more protection. Nice. Now, I'm not sure if it's just in my head, but these blades do seem to be tackling this stubble slightly better. But the proof will be in the pudding. We're going to go 15 days. But you hear those blades doing the work, guys? And you hear those blades crisp. I'm also on the power side of my face, which I will remedy the next shave by switching the sides. So at first blush, guys, subtle, Improvement with turbo. I'll give it that seems a little bit sharper. There's more protection So when I talk about comfort and control that slightly denser Rubber guide back here the microfin technology You do feel a little bit more contact with the face Both provide a great shave and both are on my approved list Nice and close don't sleep on the Mach 3, guys. My Duke Cannon aftershave, ice cold. As usual, I wanna thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow or the day after. But in the meantime, you know, keep pushing play. <laughs> keep pushing play, y'all. All right, guys, fresh out of the shower. Now for the next 14 days, I'm going to be doing a test, a shave off between Gillette's Mach 3 and the Mach 3 Turbo. So I'm going to try to make this real quick through the magic of video. Will the Mach 3, first off, stand up to 15 days in a row of shaving? And uh, does the Turbo last just a little bit longer? How does it feel starting now? Day two. All shaves are all Gillette. I'll be using my favorite Gillette Foam Mousse.
All right, let's start off with Mach 3. I had about a three to four day growth, but for the rest of the trial, it's gonna be every day. Side one is done with the Mach 3. Still feels good, still feels sharp. No tugs, no pulls. Now we'll go to the turbo side. Oh yeah. I still give the nod to the turbo guys. Just feels like there's more contact. Thanks to the more dense microfin or rubber guide down here and thicker more long-lasting lubrication strip up top. That's what I'm gonna say I'm believing in the marketing, guys. All right, guys, day two is in the books. Gonna give the edge to the Turbo. Still feels new. They both feel great. No nicks, no tugs, no pulls. This just, it still gives you more contact with your face. More contact, more control. More contact, more control. Keep pushing play. See you tomorrow. Save one. Day three in my Mach 3, Mach 3 Turbo Shave War. Start strong hand with the Mach 3 Turbo. Still feels new. Lots of coverage, lots of control. That's a nice blade. Mach 3 Turbo side done, guys. All right, let's go with the Mach 3. Lighter feel overall, still feels pretty good. So guys, they both feel good, but as I use them more, the slight difference in heft of the Turbo is really shining through. Feels like a brand new blade after three shaves. Still has lots of comfort control and contact. This uh, Mach 3 still feels good. It's just lighter. Shave Wars. Day three is in the books. See you tomorrow. Day four. Extended Shave Wars and a continued assault on my face. Let's start with the Mach 3. Oh, very smooth. Still as smooth as new, guys. Now, Gillette just released a heated razor. So for $200 or so, you can get a razor that's heated. I just ran this Mach 3 under hot water and I feel nice heat and I'm saving Oh, about $190. Blade still feels good. Loop strip still intact. Feeling no pain, no nicks, no tugs, no pulls. Albeit, I'm shaving every day. But you know, back in the day, that's what we were intended to do. Shave every day. Little cross grain action. Beautiful. First pass done, or should I say first side done. Day four, here's the Mach 3 Turbo. Oh yeah, still my choice. Just feels, again, more contact, more robust. And still new. One of the viewers mentioned that it seemed like the Mach 3 Turbo shave was quicker too. Uh, it's probably because of those anti-friction coated blades that nip right through those whiskers. No nicks, no tugs, no pulls, no weepers, nothing guys. Maybe a little weeper on the Mach 3 side, guys, but nothing on the turbo side. So maybe we've seen the first kink in the armor. 
day four in the books, guys. I'm still leaning with the turbo, but both provide a great shave for everyday use. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is fun. Day five of the Shave Wars between the Mach 3 and the Mach 3 Turbo. Strong hand. I'm going to start with the Mach 3. Let's do this. Okay, so I'll say that this is the first time I'm feeling a little bit of dullness on this Mach 3 blade. So five shaves in. Actually, if you're only doing half the face, it's really like two and a half shaves in. And I'm feeling just a slight bit of slowdown. Still fine in terms of the shave. No nicks, no tugs, no weepers. Just a little bit rougher than the first four shaves. You might see a weeper there. Now at the end of yesterday's shave, I did unearth a weeper using this Mach 3. But in all fairness, if you're taking your time and you're letting the device do the job, you won't really have any problems. All right, side one is done. Let's head over to the turbo side, weak side. Now the turbo is faring slightly better, but still, you know, I'm noticing it's not a brand new blade. Five shaves in guys, two and a half shaves, if you're being honest. Little grabbing here. So at the end of day five, I'm still gonna give the edge to the turbo, but I am starting to feel a little bit of wear and tear on these blades again i'm doing half the side or half the face so really it's two and a half shaves guys shaving every day you were to let that stubble grow out i don't know if you'd really be getting a comfortable 15 shaves but we'll see day five's in the book see you tomorrow keep pushing play shave wars Shave Wars. So for today's Sunday Shave, I'm continuing my Shave War between the Mach 3 and the Mach 3 Turbo. Day six. Now on day five, I noticed a slight drop off in the sharpness of the blades for both the Mach 3 and the Turbo. So today I'm gonna make sure I get a good steam, open up the pores. I apologize for the noise if you're hearing the construction. I, they've been doing construction on my block for the last two years. So every morning my alarm clock is the banging and sweet sounds of diesel. Going with my favorite Gillette foam mousse. I like it because it's got a nice light fragrance. Smells good. And the, the foam itself is not, not as thick as like a foamy or a Barbasol, which I enjoy. Today we're gonna start off on the strong side with the turbo. Day six. Nice. Blade still feels good. Good contact with the skin. No tugging, no pulling. That lube strip is still intact. And I have no fear, no fear of nicking and cutting myself. In the first of the series, I said that the Mach 3 was introduced in the late 80s, correction, 1998. What's well, a decade between friends, right? Feels good. 
Feels good, guys. A little bit of a grab under here. But still a very nice shave. So the first side of the face in the books, the turbo still feels good, guys. Regular Mach 3, weak side. I'm gonna make sure I wet that up. Much better than yesterday. So a little skin prep goes a long way. Make sure the face is steamed up nice and ready to receive the blade. And take your time. Now what I love about the Mach 3 is just the coverage, guys. That flat blade, the lubricate. I mean, when they released the Mach 3, guys, they should have stopped. Because who needs five blades and all the bells and whistles? Nice. You hear that blade doing the work? Nice. No weeping, no irritation, no nicks, no cuts, no tugging. You know, today I'm going to say there's comparable shaves, guys. I'll follow it up with some Duke Cannon aftershave bomb. Ice cold menthol smell with some icy cold heat. <laughs> I'll see you clouds tomorrow. Shave Wars. All right, guys, day seven of my continued assault on my face with my Shave Wars review of Gillette's Mach 3 versus the Mach 3 Turbo. For shave number seven, I'm gonna start with the Mach 3. And since I prepped my skin correctly, the Mach 3 blade is still providing a smooth, nick-free, grab-free, irritation, and most importantly, cut-free shave. All right, side one is in the books. Let's switch over to the Mach 3 Turbo. With anti-friction coated blades, the Turbo still feels just a bit more superior than the Mach 3. But in any event, either blade works just fine for the average guy. Finish it off with Duke Cannon's Aftershave Bomb. Average guy tested, average guy approved. I wanna thank you all for watching. I thought this would be a nice change up to the series. I'll see you clowns tomorrow. And as always, keep pushing play. Oh, very smooth. Still as smooth as new, guys. Shave Wars. I will get back to doing other things, guys. And me being the sucker for marketing that I am, I was just at my local CVS and I saw this. It's a Cremo 2-in-1 scrub mask. It's a charcoal mask. I've done a charcoal mask in the past. But Cremo makes some solid quality products for men. So this will be upcoming, just to keep the appetite whetted. Today is my continued assault on my face. I'm steaming up, getting ready for day eight in my Gillette Mach 3, Mach 3 Turbo Shave Wars. I've had a long day, guys. I've been running around. I didn't get a chance to shave earlier, so I'm shaving tonight. Now, usually, I will shave either in the shower or just out of the shower because... You know, prepping the skin, especially if you're shaving every day, guys, prepping the skin, getting a nice steam, opening up the pores. Getting your face ready to receive the blade is just as important as proper technique, in my humble opinion. So I'm steaming up good here, and I'm going to switch it up a little bit today. I'm going to apply my favorite Gillette Foam Mousse product with my favorite shaving brush. From the beautiful folks at FM Brush Company, the HIS Retro 3D Synthetic Badger Hair Brush, guys. So if you haven't seen this in the past, there are two tiers of hair. There's like a little pattern here that helps with applying the foam gently here, and you can really push in the foam with the second tier and the side hair. Synthetic. Badger means it's cruelty-free, antimicrobial, it's cleaner, it's easier to prep. In fact, you don't have to wet soak this. You just take this foam, 
with a little bit of water and get going. All right, let's get going. We're gonna start with the Mach 3 Turbo strong side today. Day number eight. Nice, smooth. Look at that. Look at that. Three strokes. Still feels like a new blade, guys. You take the time to get the face ready. Nice. A turbo is making pretty quick work of the first side of my face. What I like about the Mach 3 guys is just the coverage of that blade and then the slim form factor of that blade. So you can get all up into the nooks and crannies, those nooks and crannies under your big nose if you if you like me. And you hear those blades doing the work. Day eight. Still, still feels relatively new, guys. No nicks, no tugs, no weepers, no problems. And I'm looking oh so fine. All right, let's switch it up to the Mach 3. Now, let's be fair. I'll add a, just a little bit more cream because this side of the face has been sitting a little bit. And I know you lavish knobs are going to be saying that my cream is weak. I know. Mach 3. Weak side. Here we go. Nice. Nice. Still feels relatively new. Just lighter, guys. It's a lighter feel. Not as much contact and a little grabby after day eight, or on day eight, if I'm being honest. You hear those blades doing the work? If you haven't been watching the series, The Shave Wars, and you're really looking for the difference between the Mach 3 and the Mach 3 Turbo, there's really a couple of differences. The blades on the Mach 3 Turbo are anti-friction coated. So they are slightly thicker, but provide that anti-friction coating. Uh, think of it like with a car, like your wax or your rain X, where you have the beads of water rolling off the car because there's a little film barrier between the car and you know that top layer that clear coat anti-friction coating there's a slight feel of heft in this but it, it, it maybe it's in my head the other difference as advertised these two lubrication strips up top thicker lubrication more dense and a thicker rubber guide here at the bottom than your Mach 3 Mach 3 Turbo is slightly more expensive, and that's the difference. During the eight-day test so far, they've come in pretty close. I've given the lead, slim lead, to the Mach 3 Turbo, but either blade, guys. Either blade. Feels good. So if you're... on the conservative side of the spectrum, you probably won't be getting a Mach 3 anything. But if you want to save a couple of cents, 
the Mach 3 war just just dandy for you I'm gonna give a slight lead still to the turbo again guys it just feels like there's more contact and with more contact there's a slight bit of more control I'm gonna wash off and I'm gonna attend to my belly and I'm gonna thank each and every one of you for watching this series a few more days left and then we'll be getting into some new stuff like the Cremo two-in-one scrub We'll finish it up with a little bit of my favorite Duke Cannon's aftershave bomb. Ice cold. <laughs> All right, day eight is in the books. I will see you again tomorrow. Shave wall. All right, guys, I've been beating the proverbial dead horse the last eight days with my shave wars of the Mach 3 versus the Mach 3 Turbo. You're probably getting sick of seeing them up against each other. And in my want to give you a little bit more enjoyment, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Mach 3 Turbo is slightly better than the Mach 3. Now, I'm going to continue... The shave. I told you I'd do 15 days. So I'm going to continue to shave and I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting. So now the Mach 3 Turbo for the next few days is going to take on all comers. And this will excite my buddy B-Man. I'm going to pit it up against his favorite, Gillette's Sensor XL. A blast from the past from the 80s. Look at this, guys. Beautiful two-bladed pivoting head lubrication strip with your microfin technology. But I'm gonna up the sensors game just a little bit because I'm a sucker for marketing. And look what I came across. These three bladed sensor carts fit on the old sensor handle. So for today's Shave Wars, we're going to be featuring my beloved Mach 3 Turbo against the Sensor XL with the Sensor 3 cart. Let's get going. What am I waiting for? I'm all soaked up and ready to go. All right, we're going to let the contender go first. Shave Wars. Pivoting head, loop strip, you know the drill. Three blades against three blades. Let's get going. Strong side with the sensor three. Oh, uh, yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Now, the sensor three is a brand new blade, guys. But it feels good. Oh, that's nice. I don't know. The turbo might have his work cut out for today. Beautiful. Tell you what. I always love the sensor. It's just a great product with this nice metal handle. These rubber little tabs here so it doesn't slip out of your hand. B-Man was complaining. Buddy B-Man was complaining about the turbo slipping out of his little chunky fingers. Because you got chunky fingers, brah. Oh, that's nice, guys. Very nice. Now, nice slim design allows you slim this way, so height-wise, allows you to get up in tackle. Those hard-to-reach spots. Wow, that was nice. Not a lot of give here, which is good. Not a lot of give here, which I think is actually good. It gives you some control, guys. I'm really impressed with this. All right, B-Man. Now let's go for the weak side. My beloved Mach 3 Turbo. Go with that blade up. Oh, there you go. Now I'm eight days in, or nine days in, so four and a half days in, because I've only been shaving one side of my face, guys. And I'm gonna tell you, this still feels relatively new. 
and I'm already going to give the win to the turbo because it feels new and there's just that much more coverage, guys. No fear. No nicks. No tugs. No weepers. No nothing. And just good spring to that blade. When they made the Mach 3, guys, I think they perfected Gillette. Everything else, everything else after that was just marketing hype, guys. Very, very comparable shave, I would say, though. So if you are like B-Man, if you are a sensor guy, check out some of these sensor 3 blades. I'm going to leave a link below so you can pick those up. You can pick up the turbo and the, the replacement cartridges because you'll be doing something for you. You'll be doing something for me. Finish it off as usual with Duke Cannon's aftershave bomb. Instead of beating a dead horse, I'll beat an average guy. All right, peeps, I'll see you tomorrow, which will be day number 10. Uh, I've been doing this for a while, guys. <laughs>
I've done three or four shades with this, so comparable. Very nice, guys. Very, very nice. Good coverage. No fear of getting nicked up. Because these blades are sort of floating in space. Each blade sort of has its own protective area. So the spacing, I'm, come, I'm, I'm loving it so much I'm looking to come over here. And you hear that blade? Oh, nice, guys. Nice. Turbo's going to have some uh, it's work cut out for it today. So weak side, we're going to go with the Mach 3 Turbo. Still very nice, guys. Still lots of contact. And after five shaves or 10 shaves on the 10th day, since I'm only doing half the face, still very sharp. Although I will say it's a little bit grabbier. than my Defender razor, if I'm being honest. Again, a very slim form factor. But if you notice, that first blade is way down in comparison to that. So when you get the blade up there, you're still not as close. Little grabby right here in the tough patch. Coming down the home stretch. So after 10 shaves or five shaves, if I'm being honest, I am starting to, I am starting to feel a noticeable difference. I'm gonna have to give it to Defender guys. Economical, uh, yeah, okay. In my humble opinion, the Defender Blade has unseated the Mach 3 Turbo. The Defender for the win, guys. You know what this means? Being that tomorrow is Friday and Defender has dethroned my Mach 3, I think I'm gonna take tomorrow off. And I'll get back to the Shave Wars soon. But I want you guys, I want you to curate the content going forward a little bit. I need your interactivity. Should I continue now with the Mach 3 Turbo or should I take the Defender and pit it up against something else? Maybe Harry's. What do you think? <laughs> Leave a comment below. Let me know what you want to see. In the meantime, I'm taking tomorrow off. So I'll see you guys on Saturday. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing. Play. And I'm going to keep putting on my Duke Cannon's aftershave bomb. Ice cold. Oh, yeah. Oh